Hey everyone, Austin here, and today I'm going to show you a pretty bare bones basic setup for uh, TSM, otherwise known as uh, Trade Skill Master. It's a pretty simple add on to use, it just requires a tiny bit of setup, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So, after you've installed the add on, which I'll provide a link in the description, uh, essentially what you have to do is type slash TSM and then hit enter and it's going to bring up this bar right here now the first thing you want to do is go to groups and then you're going to create a new group so for this simple group I'm just going to put in uh, let's see transmog alright and then we're just going to put ok now it's going to open up the second window and it's going to list all the items in your inventory. Now what we're simply going to do is we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for all of the transmog items. See like this Aurora mantle right here. Uh, we got these Fletcher shoulders and we're just going to click on all of them once. Mangor's bite. Sega's Helm, Twilight, Tiger Bane, Sorcerer Slippers, Silk at Husk Launcher. And once you've found all of them, I might not get all of them in my first sweep, but you're just going to click Add and it's going to put them in this group over here. Now, this is essentially your organization, so if you ever get any more items that you want to post as transmog you'll just go back you click on groups and it'll show up right here once we're done and you'll just click on it and then it'll you'll see this again and then you'll just click add and go back to them again and then we're gonna go to let's see operations all right and then we're gonna go to auctioning now we're gonna make an operation that's basically going to do something for us automatically so we're just going to name the operation tmog post because what we want it to do is we want it to post them on the auction house. You don't have to type post in there, but it's just a very simple way to do it. And you'll just click OK, and then you'll go to post. So the post cap, what you're going to see here is a list of just like all of your your actions here. So the post cap is how many auctions you basically want. Uh, the stack size, if they stack, you can make it like up to 20 if you're like vanilla style and you're like, oh, I remember when things stacked to 20 and you just want to sell them in stacks of 20. But we're doing transmog, so we just want it to stack at one. Yeah, the keep quantity is how many you want to keep in your bags. So like if you just want to keep like a certain amount, then you'll just keep that. And then the max expires. This is a bit more complicated, but it's basically like after it's expired a certain amount of times, it will no longer post them. I'm not really 100% sure how to configure it, but we don't really want to mess with that, so we'll just leave that at zero. Now the bid percent, this is what it's going to set the bid to next to your buyout in comparison. So what I like to do is set it at 94% because the typical auction bid percent is 95% and so if you set it to 94% by generic default it should show up underneath people's who've posted it at the buyout at the same price as you because the theirs will be typically be 95% and the undercut this is how much you want to undercut somebody by one copper just, <laughs> just be that guy you can leave it at that if you want it's completely up to you and then this is the minimum the minimum price that you want your auction to go for. Now, setting it to specific golds can be kind of annoying. So what I like to do is delete the whole thing. And then what you're going to type in is this right here, only slightly modified. So the minimum price, we want it to be, well, what I typically do is 50% of its value is like the lowest that I would typically sell something for. But I mean, if you want to be a little bit more like uh, about it, you can say like 65% is pretty good. 
and then you'll just type DB market and then you'll close it with these brackets right here and so I can I can paste this in the description if y'all don't want to type it out but essentially max and then this little C thing <laughs> I can't remember the name 65% DB market so what this is gonna do is it's gonna at the minimum price that you will allow this add-on to post will be 65% of its market value average and so you can say like oh when it's below minimum then you can just say like ignore auctions below minimum uh, post at maximum price uh, post at minimum price which is typically what I would like to do and then so everything below it's 65% of its value it'll just ignore that and post it at 65% so if you get undercut it's not gonna do anything for you but it's okay and then this is like this is simple we don't want to get too complicated and then the maximum price so this is the highest you'll sell something for I I typically leave make <laughs> you could just do like max 1000% and then DB market and then close that off and then hit okay and hit okay on both of these so at maximum when it's above maximum just post a maximum you'll technically be undercutting them if they post it at above your maximum but I mean who's gonna post it at 1000% market and then the normal price this I typically like to set to just max 100% of its value, which is obviously it's like 100% of its value what it's going to go for. So DB market, and then we're going to close it off with a bracket, and we're going to hit OK. And then we don't really want to mess with cancel or reset, but the relationship, I believe it's the relationship one. No relationship management. Okay, yes. So you're going to go to management after you're done configuring your post values. You're going to go to management and then you're going to apply operation to group and then you're going to hit transmog because you want it to be posting your transmog at the value prices and whatnot. You're going to hit OK and it's going to say apply your, your, um, your operation to your transmog group. So now, when you, we're gonna head, go ahead and close this. When you go to the auction house, it's gonna open up a sort of like new issue UI. Uh, just click on this. If if this if these little eyes show up, just go ahead and click on that to make it go away. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to auctioning, and look, there's your transmog group right there. Now what you're gonna do is click start post scan. And what it's gonna do. It is going to scan for those items in that group to be listed in your inventory. So it's showing all these up. Like currently, like I have one of these in my inventory, and it showed up in the group. And it says that someone is selling it for below the minimum price. So it's going to post it at the minimum price. And then for this guy, somebody's posted it. I'm not really sure what they posted it for. But it's undercutting them and since it's going to undercut down to 65 percent so it's selling it at some point above 65 percent and then below minimum price so it'll post at minimum price and so on and i already have some of these posted and the way by default the everything i've shown you it won't post more than one of your items so i have these posted up already as you can see right here, I have a huge list of things posted that I've done with this add-on. All these things can be posted in just like just like an instant. So what you're gonna do is when you're going when you're at your auctioning, you can click post individually, but that's extremely obnoxious. So I have these two macros down here. They may be a bit kind of hard to see, but I'm gonna show you how to set how to set up a like super speed post setup. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your macros right here and we're gonna look for our post one which is right here and then you're gonna type in slash click TSM 
capital capital T, capital S, capital M, capital A, and then auctioning, and then capital P for post, and then capital B button. And then you're going to save that, and then put it down on like a hot bar somewhere if you want, and then go ahead and set that hot bar button to mouse scroll wheel down and mouse scroll wheel up or control. What I have it set up for is control scroll and then control scroll. And then what you'll do is you'll go back to that section and you'll get your scan back up. And then you'll hold down control and you just scroll your mouse and it'll post everything instantly, really fast. And you can do this with like any type of item. So like let's just say you do, you want to post more than just transmog. So you'll go ahead and go back to TSM. And you go to groups. Maybe it plus there's your little group right there. But you want to make a new one. Like let's just say you want to post like trading goods or crafting materials. So you'll just type in crafting mats. And you'll just click OK. And then you're gonna look for all your crafting materials. So you like Oh, you've got your like alchemical catalyst, your black rock fragments, and your core stones and whatnot. And you just click whatever it is, and then you add it over here. And now it's in that. Now it's in your crafting mats group. Now I'm not going to go ahead and filter all this because that'll take a little bit of extra time. <coughs> and so you're going to go to management, I believe, or oh no, no, operations again. And then you'll go to auctioning, and you see your team log post there. Now, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go to management, and you can actually apply the operation to the same group if you want, or you can rename it and make it someone else if you want to change. If you want to change any of these settings, then you'll want to make a new operation to reset all of this. Like, let's say you don't want to post your trading materials for 65% or whatnot, then you'll just change these settings up, like I explained earlier. But if you don't really care and you just want to post everything really fast, then you can just do the same thing. So let's see how I got. It. Yeah, you go back to operations, auctioning, management, and then you'll go down here, and then you'll apply the operation to your crafting materials, and you'll hit OK, and it says OK. Well, now it's applied the same operation to your crafting mats. So then, if you close, then go back over here. Go to auctioning. You can choose to have it select all of them, or just one. If you do click both of these, it's going to scan for both sets of your groups and your inventory, which is fine. If it rescans, it's totally fine. It might just take a little bit longer. But now it's scanning for both things, so some of the old things are going to show up on here, which is totally fine. See, like, are these already max post heads are going to come up? So once this is done, You'll just like, if you have your macros set up down here at the bottom, you'll just hold down control and just scroll. And it'll insta post the stuff super fast. And you can do this with anything. You can set it up for just multiple, multiple things. And then, yeah, one, make sure it's totally done before you hit confirm. And then you just scroll. And then make sure it's done saying like post scan finish. Because if you close, if you do it with a large group of items, the items will still appear in your inventory for like a few seconds so you want to make sure it's like confirmed everything and then all the items will disappear because they'll be posted make sure you wait that out or you could like cause it to like crash out or anything but i mean it's pretty simple you can do the same thing for any amount of items that you want to post you know mounts anything pets just make sure you set your groups confirm the items apply the operations and just like scroll back if anything was confused. I think I covered it all. But uh, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. And uh, like if you did, uh, pass it around. And uh, talk to you again next time.